All right, I'd like to make a correction for everybody on YouTube that's showing um, the wrong instructions how to put air in the shock absorbers air tank. Uh, the first thing I'd like to point out is that there isn't a lot of volume that goes in here. So there is very little volume at high pressure. Okay, so if you have an extension with a similar thread in or an air hose that attaches with a thread in similar to this. This is meant to push the valve in as it threads in slowly. As it does so, it opens the valve and it keeps it open. The problem is that because of the low volume here, not like a car tire or a truck tire or a motorcycle tire or even a bicycle tire, when you unscrew this, it keeps the valve open as it loses the seal for long enough that you lose all the air pressure. All right, so a correction and how I fix this is that I got a, a shredder valve inner tube. I cut out, I cut it out at an angle as such with a pair of scissors. As you can see, there is no pin here that can push the, the valve, the actual valve in. So it, you press it up against the valve body, right? And it forms a seal that way. And then you apply pressure, air pressure. It transfers the air in as such, right? It transfers the air in. And then the valve, once the air pressure equalizes, is closed. So as you pull out, all the air stays in. And so that's the only way I got the, the cavitation of the fluid inside to stop because that's, that's what the air pressure inside this valve, uh, the, this shock absorber really does. It stops the cavitation. Um, and that's the only way I got it. So if you have anything that, that's a nipple um, or anything that attaches here that doesn't push the valve in, Okay, that will get the job done. So even this other extension, which I used earlier, threads in, you will lose all the air. Okay, so all you need is something like this, thread it in, obviously, it still has the, the valve and the valve body, but once you attach it, you're good to go. You put air pressure, no more cavitation.